Hi, my name's Nick Tanner, and I'm senior producer on a great new game, Burnout Dominator. Burnout Dominator, designed specifically for PS2 and PSP. Everything in the game this year is brand new. Brand new tracks, cars, and some great new game modes. The big kicker this year is Burnout to Back. This is all about boost. You're continually refilling your boost bar. You're continually earning new boost. This is how you're going to keep the 200 mile an hour speeds going throughout the track. If you chain burnouts together, you get score multipliers, you get bigger scores. Combine this with reckless driving skills of drifting, driving in oncoming. How many near misses can you get? It's the ultimate test of dangerous driving. Burnout Dominator is all about the reckless skill-based driving that is the essence of any burnout experience. We've got some great new track locations this year, all brand new and unique to PS2 and PSP. A slightly different look to Burnout, really high contrasting colours, really good variety from coastal America to rural Japan. And the tracks have been built with game modes in mind. We've got some great big drift corners, some huge sections where you can get in oncoming and, and near miss rush hour traffic. We've always delivered a great variety of game modes in all the Burnout games and we've continued to do that this year. We've got all race, road rage, eliminator modes, the staples of any Burnout game. We're then progressing to the challenges. You can do a drift challenge. So how much drift can you do in a particular track? Can you chain different drifts together to get huge scores? Near miss challenges, same thing. Get as much near miss as you can. If you're chaining burnouts, you're traveling very fast. Harder to near miss, but that's the ultimate reward. And you build yourself up to what we're calling maniac mode. This is when all your different dangerous driving skills are brought together in one fast, furious mode. You want to get oncoming, drift, near miss, air, and chaining burnouts for one huge score. The great thing about burnout is it's always been really easy to pick up and play. It's great to come in from you know, night out and, and just play an hour of burnout. So there's a pass the controller option in the game, there's a split screen options within the game. A thing called party play where you can set the best score, pass the controller to a friend and they can try and beat it. The other great thing is we've got a record breakers mode so you can actually go in and set records of laps, challenges, the best maniac score on a certain event. Ultimately it's about bragging rights against your friends. You'll remember from, from previous burnout games the signature takedowns. We wanted to take that a stage further so we've introduced signature shortcuts. What these are are specific shortcuts within the world that if you do a takedown into the entrance of them, the car will explode through the barrier and it will open up the shortcut. This works perfectly when you go into record breakers mode and you want to set a quicker time. So again, it's the depth of the experience and it's, it's, it's giving unlockables that really mean something. As the name suggests, it's all about unlocking dominator cars. Certain races, certain road rage events will have many challenges within them. To unlock a car, you might have to do an X amount of drift to actually unlock that car. Cars are going to feel different, it's cars that are built for drifting, cars that are very responsive to weaving in and out of near miss, and then some that are just built for speed. We've also completely reworked the World Tour. It's not just about competing in races, you also compete in road rage events, eliminator events, and now the new challenges. It's not just about coming first, it's about coming first and doing it in style. I'm really excited about the PSP version this year. With the great success of Burnout Legends, we really wanted to build on that this year. So we've actually tuned the handling specifically for PSP. The cars are going to feel very, very responsive, even if you play on the D-pad. It's taken a lot of time and a lot of effort to do that, but it's well worth it. Secondly, I really wanted to create a game that felt visually like a next-generation PSP type. The big thing on PSP is ad hoc play. All the core modes are in, in the wireless ad hoc feature. You can play multiplayer with up to six players. And we've also got save and share, so you actually save your, your best results from different events and share them with a friend. You can actually upload them to a website, so you can actually compete against people around the world. It's a great experience just watching somebody play. They drift and just miss a car, and there's those big, oh my goodness moments. That to me is the, is the classic burnout experience, and that's what we're capturing this year. Burnout Dominator celebrates the reckless skill-based driving that is the essence of any burnout experience.